As we close the book on 2023, let's take a moment to reflect on the major events that shaped our year. Petty's is a world-class award show, man. Give it up for yourself. Top three winners for the season two of the Hedys, Mike Jack. January. Then President Buhari signs his final budget as Nigeria's head of state. The 21.83 trillion budget is the highest in the history of Nigeria at the signing ceremony. The president urged the National Assembly to assent to the bill, seeking regularization of the ways and means of loans obtained from the central bank. Brimo suffers huge blowback on account of his uncomplimentary tweet about the potential election of an Igbo president. It didn't happen. I didn't go online and then started assuming things about the tribe now. Pope Francis presides over the funeral mass of predecessor Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Burner Boy song last last certified platinum in New Zealand. Meek Mill's criminal record was wiped clean following pardon by Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolfe. Kanye West secretly marries Yeezy actor Bianca Sensori. Manchester City defender Benjamin Mendy discharged and acquitted of all charges of rape and sexual assault. Dere Lea Dung hosts the second edition of Humor Awards. Major winners of the night include Real Worry Pekin, Mr. Macaroni. Humor Awards inducts veteran publishers and producers Papa Jasko & Co. and veteran entertainers Papa Aluwe and Kemowo. Ngozin Wusu, Saka and others into its Hall of Fame. I have never won Hall of Fame, not to talk of the one that involves you more. Cristiano Ronaldo captains the Saudi All-Stars 11 team against Lionel Messi-led PSG. The match ended 3-2 in favour of PSG. Former Brazil and Barcelona player Danny Alves arrested and detained in prison custody following accusations he raped a woman in December 2022. The player had initially denied the incident before claiming that they had consensual sexual relations. Remus Calm Down achieves 11 times platinum in Portugal. Blackface accuses Ashake of copying his song for Joha. Former Plantation Boys band member, Blackface is notorious for accusing other artists of copyright infringement. He has in the past laid the same accusations against Olamide, Whiskey, and Burner Boy. The accused artists have always denied the allegations and dared blackface to initiate legal action, which he has to date opted against doing so. The Ashake Saga is my song, Ikebi Super. Remus Calm Down becomes most viewed Afrobeats video on YouTube. Remus Calm Down certified RIAA Platinum in US. A 7.8 magnitude earthquake strikes southern and central Turkey, as well as the northern part of Syria. Thousands are feared dead as the government launches operations to rescue survivors. Thames becomes Nigeria's first female Grammy Award winner as Burna Boy misses out on two Grammy Awards. Shion Kuti berates P-Square's Peter Okoye for flirting with politicians. We all have a right to our political opinions. African Shrine is a local shrine. Peter Okoye fires back. Naira Skosti bites harder as then-President Buhari fills a self-imposed seven-day deadline to make new Naira notes widely available. South African rapper Kenan, a.k.a. Forbes, was shot dead on Florida Road. A.k.a. was standing outside the Wish restaurant when he was gunned down in a drive-by shooting. Age 35. South African government declines fans' plea for state burial for slain rapper, a.k.a. Missing Ghanaian footballer Christian Atsu is confirmed to have died in Turkey's 7.8 magnitude earthquake of February 6th. Funkakindili's battle on Booker Street rakes in 614 million naira, emerging as the highest grossing Nollywood movie of all time. Lil Nas X and Jack Harlow's Industry Baby becomes most streamed song of the 2020s. Thames, Rema, Burner Boy perform at NBA All-Star Game. APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu wins 2023 presidential election. Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, declares the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as winner of the 2023 presidential election. Kylian Mbappe becomes PSG record goal scorer. French footballer scores his 201st goal for the club, going past Edson Cavani's record. 
Kylian Mbappe becomes Paris Saint-Germain's all-time top scorer. Nollywood actress Omotola Jalade Kendi reveals she almost slipped into prostitution after her dad's death. I don't fear for my life, to be honest. I probably would have become a prostitute today. Rema's hit track, Calm Down, has surpassed 400 million views on YouTube, making him the first Afrobeat artist to do so. The song is part of his debut studio album, Raven Rose, which was released earlier in the year 2022. Burner Boy's last last certified platinum in US. Chart data verifies that the 31-year-old rapper's track Last Last has surpassed 1 million units in sales in the US, earning it platinum certifications. Burner Boy is presented with an RIAA platinum plaque in recognition for this achievement. Wife opens up about burden of coping with Bruce Willis's dementia. Emma Willis discusses the significance of self-care while tending to others, addressing the challenges of assisting Bruce with his health issues. Emma shared, it's a conscious effort and it doesn't come naturally to me, but I'm doing the best I can to manage the situation. Davido confirms marriage to Chioma. Superstar David Adeleke Purple, known as Davido, has confirmed his marriage to his partner Chioma Roland. He disclosed this in an interview he had with skip maker Kiki. April started with a bang. As Premier League side Chelsea sad Graham Potter and Frank Lampard returned as the interim head coach. Street hop singer Habib Okikiola, known as Potable, didn't stay out of trouble as he was charged with six assault-related offences by the Ogun State Police Command. Why, why? Did I know you? Massive wins were also recorded in the month of April. As Davido's Timeless set a new record for most streams in a debut week on Spotify and also debuted on Billboard 200 selling over 17,000 units in its first week. Drake won $2.7 million from betting on Israel Adesanya who defeated Pereira in a fight. Rema did not calm down as his hit song Calm Down set a new Nigerian record on Billboard Hot 100 and his album Raven Roses became the highest streamed African album of all time on Spotify. The Super Falcons also entertained us by defeating Haiti in a World Cup warm-up match. Kevin Durant and Nike agreed to a lifetime contract, making him the third NBA player to receive such a deal. Sadly, all yearly stories are not without losses, of which 2023 was no exception. Fuji superstar Wasyu Alabi Aditola, popularly known as Pasuma, lost his mother. Tiwa Savage's house was breached by thieves. Nigerians experienced more inflation as it rose from 21.34% to 21.91% due to the scarcity of Naira between December 2022 and February 2023. May. May was definitely a memorable month for entertainers worldwide as... Ed Sheeran nearly landed in copyright issues with his Grammy Award winning song Thinking Out Loud but he was exonerated by the courts. Mr. Elliott became the first female rapper to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ex-Deputy Senate President Ike Ikwerimadu and wife went to jail for organ trafficking. Victor Sime led Napoli to their third ever Scudetto. Rema's calm down made it to the Guinness Book of World Records. Tewa Savage trended all over social media for performing at King Charles III's coronation party. Governor Adimola Adilike gets the backing of the Supreme Court for the Oshun State gubernatorial election. Chef Hilda Bassi cooked for 93 hours, 11 minutes. Ellen Haaland's debut campaign in English football earned him the Football Writers Association Men's Footballer of the Year. Manchester City won the Premier League title, making it three times in a row. In his last days in office, President Buhari bestowed national honours on Davido, Tenny, Benavoy, Victor Sime, and ace movie maker Kunle Afolayo. May was a month to remember for Nigerians worldwide as Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Sheitima were sworn in as president and vice president of Nigeria, respectively. However, the president's statement about the removal of fuel subsidy in his inauguration speech led to nationwide fuel scarcity in queues. June started off low, especially with the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and NPC increase the nationwide pump price of petrol. U.S. actor Danny Masterson was found guilty of rape, with a star convicted on two or three counts related to raping three women over two decades. An 85-year-old former Playboy model, Victoria Valentino, sued Bill Cosby for allegedly drugging and sexual assault in 1969. Banky W found himself entangled in side-cheek drama, but everything died down. However, the month of June peaked as 
Singer Bonaboy became the first African artist to sell out the 80,000 capacity London Stadium. Tupac Shakur received the ultimate Hollywood honor 27 years after his tragic death, a star on the Walk of Fame. Music stars Wizkid, Bonaboy, Thames, Iris Star, and Ashaka nominated for the 2023 BET Awards. Remus Countdown bagged four certification platinum in Portugal. Wizkid's essence featuring Thames surpassed 1 billion iHeart radio spins. Guinness World Records announced Hilda Bassi as the new record holder for longest chef. Cristiano Ronaldo achieved a historic milestone by becoming the first men's footballer to play 200 international matches. Skid maker Trinity Guy was summoned for questioning by the Oyo State Police Command regarding an alleged child abuse video. Netflix gifted a crew to boys customized merchandise for the impression of Extraction 2. Real Madrid defender David Alaba presented an autographed jersey to President Tinubu. Nigeria's Jadisola Ushiberu, Richard Mufet Damijo, Kunla Folanyo and Shola Dari become voting members of the Academy Awards. Burner Boy single Ye earned platinum status in the US as David O's unavailable hit 30 million views to become the fifth most viewed video of 2023. And that closes the chapter of the major happenings between April to June 2023. In the month of July 2023, Grammy-winning Afrobeat's megastar, Burner Boy accomplished a new fit as his single, Ye, got certified platinum in the UK. President Tunbo asked the presidential election petition tribunal to declare that Labour Party's candidate, Peter Obi, was not a member of the party at the time of the election and the party effectively had no candidate for the election. Twitter, now ex-founder Elon Musk, threatens to sue Meta for the new app which he condemned as a Twitter ripoff. Johnny Drill dismisses rumors of romantic affair with actress Tomi Ujo, star of the movie Far From Home. Johnny Drill also featured Tomi Ujo in his music video, Believe Me. FIFA World Cup winner Kylian Mbappe arrived in Yonde, Cameroon for a three-day visit to the Central African nation. Meanwhile, Obaru won Akiolu asked the producers of the movie Gangs of Lagos and Amazon Prime Video. The video streaming platform is to immediately cease from using the image and manifestation of the Ayo masquerade in the film. Also, the federal government suspended Central Bank of Nigeria's governor, Godwin Amirfeli, for illegal possession of firearms. EFCC Chairman Abdul Rashid Bawa is suspended from office and subsequently detained by the Department of State Security, EFCC. The reasons for the suspension and detention of the EFCC Chairman remains undisclosed. Saudi club Al-Hilal placed a $700 million Kylian Mbappe deal before PSG. While the PSG is willing to do the deal, the player absolutely refuses to consider the proposal. Basketballer Giannis Atentokounmpo declares himself Mbappe's lookalike and expresses his wish to take up the offer. Ashake also achieved a remarkable milestone by securing the position of the second most streamed African artist on Audiomack, boasting an extraordinary 1.09 billion streams. President Bola Tinubu addressed Nigerians on the removal of the subsidy on petrol and the rise in cost of living in the country. He tells Nigerians, I feel your pain. The federal government unveiled plans to create 1 million digital jobs in partnership with Google. Whiskey performed to a packed audience at London Stadium. He performed alongside Wande Cole and a host of other Nigerian Afrobits artists. August came with a different vibe as media mogul Mo Abudu got appointed as the creatives champion for the UK African Investment Summit. YBNL record label boss Olamide released his highly anticipated 10th album and 11th solo project titled Unruly. The 15 track album featured guest appearances from CK, Benson, Fireboy DML, Rema, and Ashake. Tragedy hits the music industry as Afrobeat superstar singer Whiskey loses his mother. It was confirmed by his manager, Son Diare. The mother of three died at around 1.30 a.m. on Friday. Meanwhile, Spotify announced unavailable as the most streamed song under Davido's Timeless album. Burner Boy released his highly anticipated seventh album he called I Told Them. Burner Boy became one of the central figures in Afrobeats whose music led the exportation of Nigerian music to a global audience. Former United States President Donald Trump returned to Twitter over two years after. He was banned from the social media platform now known as X. Trump says criminal charges against him are designed to hurt his 2024 presidential election campaign. Fino took the internet by storm when he announced the birth of his first child. September. And in the 16th Headers Award tag celebrating the African Renaissance, held in Atlanta, USA, Rema, Ashake and others win bigger the awards. The event was hosted by Nollywood actress Osas Igodaro alongside American media personality Terrence Jenkins.
The audience were thrilled by the electrifying performances from Udumudu Black, Young John, Wandiko, KC, Black Sheriff and more. Asha Ke sold out 19K Barclays Capacity Centre in U.S. Afrobeat superstar Shaquet sold out the 19,000 capacity Brooklyn Center in New York for his highly anticipated concert. Tragedy hits hard in the music industry as singer Moba died of unspecified cause at age 27. Late rapper Moba buried in Ikurdu amidst tears. Mobad was buried in Ikurdu, Lagos, less than 24 hours after his death. According to Joseph Aloba, Mobad's dad, in Yoruba land, his corpse is not the kind to be kept when both parents were still alive. Mobad's death provoked angry reactions from fans and the generality of Nigerians following allegations of bullying from former record label boss Naira Mali and his close associate Sami Larry. Mobad's body was exhumed by the Lagos State Police Command for autopsy. The autopsy was conducted at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Ekeja, and it was completed the same day. A candlelight procession was organized in Lagos, which commenced from Lekki Phase 1 Gate at 5 p.m. to Murio Konla Park, Victoria and Lagos at 8 p.m. with a hashtag, hashtag Justice for Mobad. In attendance was Davido, Zlatan, Fowles, amongst others. Naira Mali drops a tape of alleged last conversation with Mobad. The Mali enabled boss faces accusations of bullying and involvement in the events leading to the death of his former artist. October to December Rundown. The yen review spanning from October to December, we had President Tinubu's address to the nation on her 63rd Independence Day, discussing the removal of petrol subsidy and its impact on rising living costs. In the same October, the Lagos State Police confirmed a physical altercation between Mobad and Prime Boy, leading to Mobad's death. Former president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Amadri Pinnick, accused Davido of refusing to perform at an event, the despite being paid $94,600. October was quite eventful as it was reported reported that an armed conflict between Israel and Hamas-led Palestinian militant groups began, with clashes in Gaza, the West Bank and Israel-Lebanon border. Finally, it was reported that Sunday Iboho regained its freedom in the Republic of Benin after two years. News also had it that Kano State conducted a mass wedding for 1,800 couples. Shocking, right? October was also the month Whiskey laid his mother to rest. Amidst the circumstances around the general elections, the Supreme Court affirmed President Tinubu's victory in the presidential election. To advocate for Mobad, Naira Mali was summoned by the House of Representatives over Mobad's royalties. As one of the great influence on the new age Afrobeats, Nigerian musician Rema expressed excitement after performing at the Ballon d'Or Awards. In recent news, tragedies struck the music industry as rapper Taker from the popular group Migos was shot and killed at a Houston bowling alley at the age of 28. His bandmates Quavo and Offset paid tribute to him on the one-year anniversary of his unexpected death. In Lagos, Nigeria, Governor Babaji de Songwulu commissioned the Yaba Overpass Bridge, one of four bridges lined up for opening by the state government. Meanwhile, France has made the decision to return $150 million of the Abacha loot recovered from the late dictator General Sonny Abacha's family to Nigeria. This comes as part of the Nigerian government's effort to recover over $3 billion hidden abroad by the former head of state over the past 24 years. On a lighter note, American media personality Kutney Kardashian and musician Travis Barker welcomed their first child together in the political realm. President Bola Sinubu travelled to Saudi Arabia for the 5th Arab-African Summit, aiming to attract foreign direct investments to Nigeria's economy. The 12th edition of the African International Film Festival, AFRIF, kicked off, focusing on expanding indigenous movies onto the global stage. Nigerian artists Davido, Burnaboy and Ashake received Grammy nominations, while Rema made history by performing at the O2 Arena in London, joining the ranks of other successful Nigerian artists who have sold out the venue. In the world of sports... Arsenal climbed to the top of the Premier League with a late 1-0 victory over Brentford and Cristiano Ronaldo faced a $1 billion class action lawsuit from Binance cryptocurrency investors. Additionally, Michael Jackson's iconic music video for Bid It reached 1 billion views on YouTube. Various Nigerian celebrities made headlines including rapper Ola Dips being falsely declared dead by his management, Nollywood actress Genevieve making her first public appearance after receiving mental health care, and Lagos State 
State Chairman of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, MCO Luomo, being re-elected for a second term. In the music industry, Nigerian artist Shei Vibes and Ashake made generous donations while controversial street hub artist Portable performed at the Celestial Church of Christ. Funke Akindili premiered her latest movie, A Tribe Called Judah, and Whiskey made an emotional return to the stage after a hiatus.